Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today we're going to be looking at a really cool frosted glass shader for Unity. Now, this is suitable for the built in render pipeline, but there is a particular solution which was created for the lightweight render pipeline, which was then changed to the universal render pipeline. And it does have some issues with some of the code. You can make sure that you use the specific URP namespace, but as per the suggestion here by Tomeki, you need to convert one of the particular scripts to a render pipeline feature. I'm not really sure how to do that. So some of you guys who are more forthcoming with this thing might be able to work it out. So there might be a URP solution with a little workaround, but you can navigate to Andy DBC's GitHub and it's called the Unity Frosted Glass Shader. Then it uses command buffers to achieve this awesome effect. Now, the best way to import this is to click the drop down in the code and download the zipped folder. But the best thing to do is open up the Unity Frosted Glass Master folder or unzip it for the first part of call. Go into the assets and just copy all of these demo assets into your project. So copy those, then go inside your assets folder for Unity and make sure you paste everything in there. And when you import all this in, it will have an error most likely with the min attribute of the min draw script. So you can open that up. You can see that there's an issue with trying to find this specific min attribute. And what we need to do is actually do unity engine.prosprocessing.min attribute on each of the actual sections where it talks about the min attribute. And then we can save that out because this is just how we need to fix our particular issue. And then you can go into the demo, open up the demo scene, and then you can see the cool frosted glass effect. Now you can see in the scene, what we've got is we've got the glass material, which is just on this plane here. So as a new example, we can create a 3D object and create a new cube. What we'll do is we'll right click and create a new material. And I'm just going to call this cube frosted and then we'll click on our shader type and then we'll go to effects and frosted glass and we can drag that onto our cube and we can already see that frosted look just on everything that we can see behind it. Then if we open up the material, you can see that there's a frost intensity amount. So we can choose if we want it very lightly frosted or very, very heavily frosted. And also then there's an at frost texture, which can actually create an overlay depending on if you might have dirt. So in this case, the example has a dirt and a sci-fi with a sci-fi it's a hexagonal tiled pattern, which makes it look like a frosted glass in a sci-fi scenario. We've got the dirt scenario where you can just see that it's just frosted in a, just in a dirty way. It looks like it needs a good clean and vice versa. And on the main camera, this does use the post-processing behavior, which has a set of color correction and vignette, and it does use the command buffer blur to make this happen. So you need to make sure that script is on your main camera to make sure that it renders the render texture that we need to create the look of this effect. So I hope this cool shader helps you out and be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 180 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. I'll put all the links in the description for this asset and all the savings that you can make for this month and everything in game dev. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive savings. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Barakas, Walter Dunson, Renny Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getajank, Hush, Thomas Mercileski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Hoglan Nigoyan, Curry for Life Gaming, Sungji Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, GY Quaid, Duan Cooper, James McCarthy, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Vacon, Andre Ferreira, Lorientu, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Woblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, Carl Frederick, Shatibi Marion, and FH. And a big thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.